Ho Chi Minh City is what many people call it, but the locals still use the word Saigon, the city's original name. This place is full of history even though it's not the capital and it's the most desirable city for employment in Vietnam. While many tourists visit Choo Choo Tunnels and the War Museum, I found those extremely depressing. Instead, I recommend the secret weapons bunker originally built for the 1968 Tet Offensive attack of the Independence Palace, where Chan Van Lai worked. He built this place. The Tet Offensive was a simultaneous series of North Vietnamese attacks on 13 cities in South Vietnam in hopes to foster rebellion and push back on the US forces. Located in District 3 and built by politician Chan Van Lai, without the knowledge of his family he constructed the cellar beneath his house and threw away the dirt into boxes then disposed of them at night as not to be seen. The bunker remained hidden until after the war. Today the house has been kept in its original state by Chan Van Lai's son. You can see the bullet holes of the front gate because southern soldiers discovered the house. You can see photos of President Ho Chi Minh the commandos, Viet Cong flag, also known as the National Liberation Front, and tricks used to conceal the weapons. These are the commandos of subzone 6 that were involved in the weapons concealment. From midnight on January 31st, 17 soldiers gathered here to pick up the weapons for the attack on the palace. Get here, oh, I guess motorcycle, wow. This is one of the motorcycles used in the attack. Facing a counterattack, the soldiers returned here and fought until death, eventually resulting in US troops withdrawing from the war. Oh, National Historical Site. Special Forces, oh, it's a long name, okay. And right here's the hidden tunnel. Can I go down? Yes. Okay. Let's take this. The underground weapons cache contained nearly three tons of weapons, including Soviet TNT. Dynamite, TNT. C4 explosives, rocket launchers. AK-47 machine guns, Chinese grenades, Soviet grenades, and American grenades. And they're plastic now. Gas masks. And behind the weapons, there was access to the city's sewer system. This bunker is free to visit in District 3 of Ho Chi Minh City. I'm sure, I think that's where the escape tunnel was, if we were to escape. There's bazookas. Bazooka rifle. Whoa, holy crap. Four rocket launchers. Bunch of rifles, huh? Students visit the relic place of hiding city commandos weapons. They're attacking Independence Palace in 1968. Look at that. It's an old gun launch. Glasses, lighter, spoons, utensils, tape deck. and donations are greatly appreciated. Now check out my other videos of traveling across the world.
This is probably one of the few livable streets in District 3, right? This is District 3. Because uh, it's greener here and there's less traffic uh, right on busy streets. And whatever this is, it's fancy. Just get a custom paint job here, a rep, rep style on this car. And then a clearing. And you have some shrine in the back. Nice looking shrine. Alright, Saigon, Ho Chi Minh, right there.